Thank you very much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rich Bradley, president of the Board of Public Service. This is the meeting of the Board of Public Service, the regular meeting for August 16th, 2022. This is a public meeting and we have no hearings today, but we do have one letting and it is letting number 8754. And I will turn it over to Helen Bryant. Okay, we have letting 8754, McLeod Avenue, pedestrian street lights. We have two bids, Gerstner Electric Incorporated, $832,569, 832-569.00, and TGB Incorporated, total bid amount, oh, oh, $849,740, 849 Seven four zero point zero zero, and that's it. Hey, thank you very much, Helen. You're and welcome. This time, I'll ask Secretary to please call the roll. Director Davis, aye. Director Scoggin, you're muted, Yusuf. Director, Director Scobie, I'm sorry. Okay, we're just calling for presence. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Yes, present. Director Williams? Present. And President Bradley. Here we have a quorum. I'll call the meeting order. For the president, recommendation that approval be given as follows preliminary approval for letting number 8744, reconstruction of runway 12R through 30L from Tex Wave. Taxiway Romeo to Taxiway Golf, Project 2 at St. Louis Lambert International Airport, St. Louis, Missouri. Supplemental Agreement Number 1 to PSA Number 1222, Evaluation and Design of the Lambert International Boulevard Bridge over Coldwater Creek Lambert, St. Louis Lambert International Airport and Structures, Inc. in the amount of $6,544.50. This Supplemental Agreement is amended and modified as scope of work and is authorized by Ordinance Number 70. 617. Supplemental agreement number six to PSA 1248, architectural and engineering services expansion and modernization of Cervantes Convention Center with Ventures Architects in the amount of $7,844. This supplemental agreement is amended and modified the scope of work and is authorized by ordinance number 70883. Port Authority formerly utilized site remedial action program. The Kiso Company leases certain land from the city of St. Louis in the Port District. In the 1940s and 1950s, the Mellon Crop Manufacturing Complex adjacent to this property processed radioactive material under contract with the federal government. The United States Army Corps of the Engineers periodically samples such sites for radiological contaminants. Kiso has consented to grant the United States Army Corps of Engineers a one-year right of access on its leased property. This request seeks approval to issue an up to one-year BPS permit with conditions so United States Army Corps of Engineers can begin its sample and testing operations. For the Port Authority permit for Walsh Construction Company, BPS most recently issued a permit effective on August 13, 2021, BPS number 30579 which will terminate on August 12, 2022. Walsh Construction has approached the Port Authority seeking to extend the same land and mooring privileges for another year beginning August 13, 2022. From the Office of Special Events, request for the following to be approved subject to certain conditions. 10 special events to be declared as festival zones. AEAONMS Parade, heading east on Market Street from Tucker Boulevard to 7th Street, north on 7th Street to Olive Street, west on Olive Street to 8th Street, south on 8th Street to Chestnut Street, and this span on Chestnut Street from 7th Street and 9th Street on August 17 from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Setup will begin at 8 a.m. and teardown will be at 3 p.m. STL Fringe Fest at North Leonard Avenue between Locust Street and Samuel Shepherd Drive on August 21st, 2022 from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Setup will be at 8 a.m. and teardown will be at 8 p.m. Hashtag We Community Day at Blair Avenue between Farrar Street and Salisbury Street on August 28th, 7th through the 28th, 2022. Setup will be on August 27th at 8 a.m. and teardown will be on August 28th at 8 p.m. Ever North Food Truck Event at Chestnut Street between 4th Street and Memorial Drive on August 30th from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. 
Setup will be at 11 a.m. and teardown will be at 11 p.m. Gateway Cup Lafayette at Lafayette Square Park on September 2nd from 3 p.m. to 10.30. Setup will be at 1 p.m. and teardown will be at 11.59 p.m. Gateway Cup Francis Park at Francis Park on September 3rd from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Setup will be at 6 a.m. and teardown will be at 9 p.m. Gateway Cup The Hill at The Hill Neighborhood on September 4th from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Setup will be at 6 a.m. and teardown will be at 11 p.m. Gateway Cup to Benton Park at Benton Park on September 5th, 2022 from 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Setup will be at 6 a.m. and teardown will be at 9 p.m. Music at the intersection at Grand Center on September 10th through the 11th, 2022 from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Setup will be on September 8th at 7 a.m. and teardown will be on September 12th at 11 p.m. Brew in the new Francis Park, 399 Donovan Street, surrounding the Lily Pond on October 8th, 2022 from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Setup will be on October 7, 2022 at 12 p.m. and turnout will be on October 8th at 9 p.m. President and Director of Health and Hospitals joint recommendation that the following be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 131063, Tower Grove for the issuance of a certificate in convenience and necessity per the rules and regulations governing horse-drawn vehicles in the city of St. Louis. Directors of Human Services, Public Utilities and Streets, joint recommendation that the following be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 131064, request from SWE Sunbury LLC for partial sidewalk encroachment to meet the ADA accessibility requirement to the building and covered seating alongside the restaurant business facade at 2028 Marconi Avenue in City Block 4082. Directors of Public Utilities and Streets, Joint recommendation that one application from Union Electric doing business Ameren, Missouri be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 131015-2515 North Jefferson Avenue. Director of Streets recommendation that the following be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 130996 request from St. Stephen Protomartyr Catholic Church to install a con convey mirror facing north at 3949 Wilmington Avenue to show exiting traffic a line of vision currently blocked by four by six retaining wall. And Director of Public Safety, there are 11 conditional uses. Good afternoon, board members. Dylan Mosier, City Zoning Office, City Hall, Room 400, per board order number 766. Transmit here with our recommendations for the following conditional use agenda applications. Approval with conditions is recommended for 10 applications. Those are 4920 Hook, 7309 Minnesota, 5322 Lotus, uh, 5370 Ruskin, 5996 Theodore, 3073 Watson, 8780 North Broadway Rear, 2004 South 39th Street, 3250 Hampton Suite 200A, and 3004 South Jefferson. Denial is recommended for one application. That is 4743 Morgan Ford Road. I request these recommendations to be approved as submitted. Thank you, Dylan. Are there any questions on today's conditional uses from any of our board members? Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion to approve, please. So move, Scoby. Is there a second? Second, Davis. Thank you, directors. Can you call the roll, please? Director Davis? Aye. Director Scoggin? Aye. Director Scoby? Aye. Director Williams? Aye. And President Bradley? I today's conditional uses are approved. I'd like to turn your attention to our meeting list from last Tuesday, August 9, 2022. Are there any questions or comments on those meeting minutes as submitted? I move to approve. Scoby. Second. Scoggin. Thank you, directors. Can you call the roll, please? Director Davis? Aye. Director Scoggin? Aye. Director Scoby? Aye. Director Williams? Aye. And President Bradley? Aye. Committee minutes are approved. Today's BPS agenda. Are there any questions or comments on our agenda today? Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion to approve, please. Motion to approve. Williams? Second, Davis? 
Thank you, ladies. Can you call the roll, please? Director Davis. Aye. Director Scoggin. Aye. Director Scobie. Aye. Director Williams. Aye. And President Bradley. Aye. Today's agenda is approved. Before we adjourn, are there any questions or any comments uh, from any of our board directors? Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn, please. So I move to adjourn. Toby. Second, Scott. Thank you. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Meeting adjourned. Thank you all. Have a great afternoon. You too. Bye, friends.